Hello developer, Precious here, Click It Academy. Uh, in this video, I want to show you how to host your GitHub, your Git file. So right here, I have my HTML projects already on GitHub. But like I said, we want it to be accessible, you know, by people when they visit a link. So if you give them your GitHub link, they can see the codes. But if you want them to see this, you know, as a website, the way you want them to actually see it, then there are two ways to go about it. So the first way is using Netlify and the second way is using the GitHub pages. So we're going to do the first step in this video. We're going to host our HTML projects using Netlify. So first of all, go to Google and type Netlify. Okay. And this is Netlify. As you can see, it says, scale and ship faster with composable web all right so i'm going to click on this let's visit netlify and you should have this on your screen and if you don't have an account just like me i'm doing everything afresh click on sign up if you have an account already click on login whichever the case will be we will arrive at the same point so i'm going to sign up and there's a lot of ways to sign up. You can sign up with GitHub, with GitLab, with Bitpocket, or with your email. But since I already have my GitHub logged in in this browser, I'm going to sign up with GitHub. And very simple, authorize Netlify. Um, okay, so seems like there's a problem i netlify system is having problem logging me in i don't know what this means but you know what let me just sign up let me sign up with my email address so i'll click on sign up i'll click on sign up with email and i'm going to type out my email so I'm going to, you know, skip this because I want to put in my password so you know what to do. Sign up with your email and when you're in, I'll meet you in there, okay? So let's do this. I'll be waiting for you. On second thought, since the password is going to be hidden, I'm going to do it with you. So I'm typing in my password. You can't see it, but I'm typing something in. Oh, sorry. Gmail.com. Wow, precious. So I have to retype my password to be sure I got it correctly. Okay, so I'm going to click on sign up. Wow, it says an account already exists. So that means it was able to connect. Okay, so let me check my email address. I should have an email. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So there's a problem with Netlify, but let's see what happened. Oh, 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 okay, it's working. So I need to verify. So I just got the email from Netlify. So you should get it too. I'm going to verify my accounts. And I think I should be logged in, right? Wow. <laughs> this is crazy, right? I'm not going to edit this out, okay? Let's do it together. So verify my identity. Seriously. Continue on this device. Why is it so difficult? Take a picture with your phone. Take a picture with webcam. Upload a file. Seriously? Okay. Let me upload a file. Passport. Why do I have to do all this? Okay, okay. So you know what? I'm going to verify my account, then I'll be back. Okay, I don't know why, but I don't know why it's flagging me. But let's see if I can solve this issue, then I'll be back. So you can see what it wants. You can take a picture with your phone, with your webcam, or you can upload a file. Okay, so I expect you to do the same thing and we'll be back together, right? So guys, I've been able to verify my account and I'm logged in successfully. So the problem with it was it wanted me to upload my passport, my international passport. 
you know, you won't blame them a lot because, you know, most of our African brothers, you know, they go on these sites and they create phishing websites where they used to collect people's credit card details and uh, information. And so they have to, you know, try to raise the security level to understand and know why you're on their website and what you intend to do with it. So now that we are past that stage, if you successfully created your Netlify, Netlify account, then you would have a page like this. The next thing for you to do is just to click on import from Grid from Git. So under sites, click on import from Git. So I'll do that now. Then the next step is to click on deploy with GitHub. Remember, we have our website on GitHub. Sorry, our files on GitHub. So now I'm going to authorize Netlify to be able to access my GitHub, all the files on GitHub that I have. And now that we've done that, um, okay, what has happened? So naturally, Netlify is going to Netlify is going to show us all the websites, like all the files I've uploaded on GitHub. It's going to show me all these files I have here, all these projects. So I have HTML projects. It's going to show it to me. So I don't know why that is not showing right now. There seem to be a lot of problem with what we're doing here today. But it's fine, it's fine. Problems are good, you understand, right? So I'm going to click on deploy again. So we are there, okay, authorized, fine. Then show me all my sites. Okay, so now it wants to install Netlify to access all the repositories. So I'll click on install. And yeah, as you can see, HTML projects, and it has been fetched by Netlify. So now you see I have HTML projects. So the next thing I will do now is to click on it because this is the this is the um, the repository that I want to create the website for. Remember, so I'll click on it, and I'm deploying the main branch. I only have one branch, so I'm deploying the main branch. Then the next step is just for us to fill in all these details. You can leave them blank. You can leave them blank if you want. To be honest, there's really no need to fill all that. So just the important thing again, your team is Clickit Academy's team. So your name, it could be your name or whatever it is you named your Netlify account. Then select your branch. Then the directory where Netlify dependency runs your build command. Okay, base directory. You select all that. Then the next thing is just to click on Deploy. Remember, I did not put in anything here because there's really no need for it. Then I would click on Deploy HTML Projects. So let's see if that is deploying now. And I think that is deployed successfully. Good. So it says Deploy Sources. Great work setting up incomparable. So that's the website name. Okay. So let's visit the site and see what we have there. So up here is the permalink. Is the permalink is a link that you will share. So let me right click and open. Let's see if we can see it. And you see it's working. Okay. But I don't like this name. So let's see if we can change the name. It's working with Netlify now. So let's go back to Netlify. And let's see if we can change the settings. So I'll click on options. Yeah, options. Then deploy settings. Um, I want to change the name of this website. I don't like that name. So I'm scrolling to the bottom to see where I can find where I will change the name. Okay. So general, let me click on general. Yes. So this is it. On general, site details. So I want to change the site name. Change site name. Okay, good. So from this, I'm going to change it to HTML. projects okay forward slash um, you can type anything you want I will just say by click it academy okay so that's it but this looks very long so I will just leave it with HTML projects but I don't think that name will be available let's see save that name is taken so 
you have to name yours let's use probably your name so html projects by who by who you are so i am acting on behalf of click it academy now so html projects by click it academy then save okay and i think that works so now the name has changed and if you can see we have the new link if i right click again and open you can see it is working so you can see guys it is very easy to deploy your site on netlify and i've done that with you in the next video i'm going to show you how to use github pages to do the same thing but right now you have your website on netlify and you can share this link with anybody that you want to share it with okay so i'm glad that you're here with me and thank you for watching this video on how to deploy your html and css projects on netlify i'll see you in the next one